if you look to your left, you can see three low bays over there in three group lines that look almost identical. They make up the orbiter processing facility bays for the launches for our orbiters. This is where we have Endeavour and Discovery right now being prepared for launches next year. Now, over the Canada, of course, already mentioned that Lampus is out there. Attached to that orange tip of that bank that you can see uh, just a little bit up at that AFF. November 16, 2.28 in the afternoon, with a crew of six to go to the space station. One of the last of the five or six shuttle launches left before it will be phased out from 2011. Hope you get a chance to see a red launch live. The television is great, but you have to be real fast. Off here to your left now, the both of with the narrow windows is a launch control center where the firing rooms are located. Between 100 and 200 engineers and technicians and the consoles in there during the launch. However, at the 8 second mark, just as soon as the shuttle does clear the tower during the day, Johnson Space Center in Houston, Texas takes over and is responsible until the orbiter comes to a stop at a runway either here or in California. Look down to the right from the bus about 1.32 o'clock, pad A, to the left, pad B. And these are the two pads used by NASA for land of launchers. Since 1981, we've had 128 shuttles leave. And these two pads, your rating, Salton. Are you ready? Are you ready? 42 feet to the gallon. The driver sits in the glass and closed compartment, depending on which direction they're traveling. By the way, ladies and gentlemen, that's a hybrid. They had that technology way back there in the 60s. Here is the observation gantry. There's an elevator on the right on the south side of that tower that will get you up to the various levels. The low building to the right is a theater with a short film about shuttle operations. Across from that, the snack bar gift shop and restaurant. It is over toward the snack bar that you'll go when you're ready to be here to continue on to the next stop, the Apollo 75. The first bus to the Apollo 75.